Good evening and welcome to Owen TV's coverage of Dragon Sports. I'm your announcer, Ian Locke, and we have a treat for you tonight. Groves is in town to take on your hometown Dragons in this league matchup here at Dragon Stadium. Beautiful night for soccer. Uh, the previous night we had some crazy weather roll through here, and as, as the fall always uh, proves year in and year out, you never know what you're going to get. Um, from one week or one day, or even one hour to the other uh, when it comes to sports and weather mixing together here in the fall. But it is Lake Orion Varsity Soccer tonight on Orion Neighborhood Television Game of the Week. And we are happy to bring this uh, telecast to you. Uh, the Dragons come into this contest sitting at 6-2-1 and one on the young season. And their defense is the story of the game. Uh, Coach... Uh, Corteg mentioned, I believe in the newspaper, the Lake Orion Review here about uh, his squad being a defensively sound team and he is not kidding, only allowing eight goals in the uh, last, I think it was three matches, um, including a 0-0 tie up at Oxford against the Wildcats who are in the red division. Dragons are down in the white, so here we are. About ready to kick off here, a nice crowd on hand. You can see the shadows stretching across the field as we get ready to kick off this match here uh, of 2021. And uh, it is comfortable out here. It is a really nice night for soccer. Uh, some rain is predicted or forecast, we should say, uh, for later in this match. So hopefully we can get it in before the wet stuff starts falling from the sky and making our lives miserable. And we're underway here. Looks like a throw in coming here for Rose. Dragons are in the green and white. At, yep, green and white. Rose is in the all white uniforms. Unfortunately for the Falcons, we do not have a roster list. We were hunting and hunting and couldn't find one as the Dragons immediately get on the attack here. Little step over move by 11. Jacob Lee trying to fool the defender. Not quite uh, getting it done there, and the Falcons send it out of the end. JV soccer was in action just a day ago. JVB against Warren De La Salle, the varsity match uh, between uh, Warren De La Salle and the varsity team here. Um, was postponed due to uh, uh, severe weather, and boy, did it rain. <laughs> Good thing they posted, uh, reposted the matches date to a, to a later date with De La Salle because it was brutal out uh, at uh, the predicted, or at least scheduled game time for uh, those two teams to get underway here at Dragon Stadium. Uh, but the JVB B team uh, dominated uh, Warren Diesel's JV B squad, and uh, to, to the tune of eight to nothing, and we congratulate them on their win. That game is currently running on Orion Neighborhood Television's education channel, Comcast 22, AT&T AT versus Channel 99. And uh, we'll be having as many soccer matches as we can bring you, uh, a minimum of four, uh, as they play out here on the field. Dragons have a throw in here by number 10. Um, Redilius. A lot of juniors and seniors on this uh, Dragon squad. Uh, just one year ago, the COVID year of 2020, Lake Orion had, I believe they were 500 at six and six. And uh, they already have matched that win total in this young season already in 2021 at six, two and one, as I mentioned earlier. Nice crowd on hand as always here for these varsity matchups. A lot of activity here at the athletic facilities at Lake Orion High School, as can be expected. Students are back in uh, session. As Groves looks to push their offensive uh, pressure up there on the far right side. Throw in coming here for Groves. See those shadows are standing on that back wall that says Lake Orion High School. It is uh, an, a bright, sunny 
sunset here or near sunset here at Lake Orion High School. The shadows are getting very long, but it is in the eyes of the players. At least the wind died down. A day ago, the wind gusts were such that the, the net minders, every time they punted the ball, uh, they had they really struggled getting it to the midfield line. And it did have a factor in at least one goal we saw that Lake Orion tallied on the JVB squad against De La Salle. Today we don't have any of those issues, just a nice calm day. Comfortable, sunny. Dragon still trying to push it in, trying to get a shot on. And it's deflected out. Hunted down by uh, Radias. All right, Groves on the move. So I like this back and forth uh, uh, activity here. It's both teams are pushing the uh, the offensive side of things. Uh, the Dragon netminder is senior Noah Warnett, who has done a fat, fantastic job so far this season, um, including again that shutout against rival uh, Oxford just a week ago. Throw in coming here for Lake Orion, that's Zachary uh, Patricia, senior forward, number 12. Excuse me, Steven Jabowski, the uh, junior defender with a throw in, stolen by the Falcons. Falcons are dispossessed by the Lake Orion Dragon streaking up that uh, that side is Chukabowski. <laughs> Got to get used to these new names. Feels like we haven't, I don't believe we called one soccer match in 2020. Uh, the season was delayed. All these, you, you know, we don't need to talk about it. <laughs> the COVID year, right? But I'm glad to be back here under semi-normal uh, conditions here, but it feels normal, then that's what matters. Dragons in, in action here. Jacob Lee on the throw in. Diaz tried to center that ball. Throws with it. Nice defensive play there. And they clear the end again. Sent back in by the green and white. Ezekiel Vargas. So some of the midfielders that uh, Coach Cortag wanted to call attention to as. Uh, a Falcon is dumped to the turf, no call, no whistle. Uh, some names to watch, number eight, Mahalio uh, Genevsky, Jose Bellina Loza, and Ezekiel Vargas, number 21, 17, eight. Those are the guys we need to watch out in the midfield um, as the offensive production uh, for these uh, Lake Orion Dragons. Early stages of the first half here. Trying to get control of that ball. Clouds rolled in, sun has gone away. Should help these players uh, navigate uh, the field of play here, especially on throw-ins. Cleared out nicely by the Groves netminder. Dragons again putting pressure on that Groves defense. Groves gets a breakout here, trying to find some open space, and they do chip on in the middle, easily defended by uh, Taplin for Lake Orion. Vargas with the ball, sends it up. We're gonna say offsides, whistle blows, Diego Savoy. Number 20 called on the offside. That was a close one. Let's see, reset game play here after the offsides call. Put in position, want to thank all of you for tuning in. It's always fun to call these games and get them out to the community so they can see uh, these student athletes in action. I encourage you to come out to, uh, to a game. Uh, head on over to Lake Orion High School's, uh, or excuse me, the Lake Orion School District's webpage. Easy, easy to navigate, um, to find school, uh, schedules and scores and updates on sports and that sort of thing. So you can uh, set your schedule to come on out and cheer these student athletes on. 
when TV again will be bringing you uh, coverage of sports as the season goes along through the school year, all school year long. Soccer, volleyball, and of course, the almighty football. Those are the main sports we focus on here in the fall. Dragons do a nice job of settling it down, working together, getting their spacing together, and trying to get something that some attack going. Knocked out by the Falcons, throw in coming for number 23, Taplin. Jackson Deer checks in for the green and white, sporting the jersey number 13. Nice chip on down inside, 11 in pursuit. That's Jacob Lee, cannot catch up to it. Be a goal kick coming. Dragons are being aggressive today, I like to see that. A lot of activity. Yeah, coming into this uh, contest against Groves, sitting at 6-2-1. Nice mark. It's, uh, Dragons have found, have found success under uh, Coach Corteg. Kind of revamped the whole uh, system here at Lake Orion. Uh, I think about five years ago he, he took over the reins as the Dragons come in and get at least a shot on goal and just a bit wide. So I think the... Uh, Gross netminder touched it, so there should be a corner kick coming off the left corner. And the goalkeeper for Gross is, uh, he's got a lot of height. He can cover a lot of ground, but first corner kick of the day for Lake Orion. Uh, they go short, chip it back. Send it in, and oh, snatched out of the air nicely by Groves. A lot of communication going out there <laughs> between players. Coming inside. Uh, Groves again trying to find their offensive rhythm. So far, no sh shots on goal for... The Falcons. Nice feed into the box. That is on. That's close to being offsides. I think number 11 for Groves. There was level in the box, but the um, Noah Wernett, the netminder, senior netminder for Lake Orion, was there. You gotta have an aggressive keeper, <laughs> especially when that ball uh, is in the 18. Groves looking for a foul, no whistle. Play continues. The Gorian player dumped as well. So far the referees are letting him play. Nice ball control here for Lake Orion. Diaz over there dancing around with that ball, keeping possession. And I think knocked out, trying to earn that corner, but he does not do so. So far, one corner kick for Lake Orion, none for Groves. One quality scoring chance for Lake Orion. And zero so far. Well, I say one for Groves. They got it in the box there, that nice uh, floater that uh, Warnett steered away. Nice active crowd here in the stands, too, cheering on both squads. Our camera position's usually in the away stands, which makes it interesting. <laughs> oh, nice feed inside the box, and a shot on, and he just pushes it wide left. That was close. I like Groves are attacking the middle of this Dragon defense. They must have seen something on film that said, hey, go down the middle. And uh, the attacker there for Groves uh, went right foot and just could not get solid contact on the ball and pushes it wide left. Another throw in coming here for Groves. <laughs> I 
Ravens pressure. Again, that is Relias, very active. Number 10 tonight for the green and white. A lot of play throwing coming here for Gross. Throw down the line. Dragons get possession of it or try to get possession of it. Good battle out there. Dragons get it, go uh, reverse field and just clear it out of play. Pressure starting to build by that Groves offense on that Dragon defense. So far, they've been uh, in the last uh, two minutes been the aggressor and have had the spacing to find some openings in that Dragon defense. So far doing a nice job. Coming inside again, Dragons close out. And the hold and the harm, foul called. Saw that hook by the Groves offensive player. And the referee called it. Kind of pinned uh, with the right arm there as he was making this move around the defender and the whistle was called. Dragons get a free kick here. <laughs> Dragons send it down the middle long. Nobody in, nobody home. Little miscommunication there. Opening two minutes was a, a nice uh, active two minutes for the Lake Orion offense. Since then, Groves and both teams actually have settled into this match, and um, so far, Groves has been the aggressor. As the ball from the <laughs> from, from the uh, goal kick goes out of uh, the facility here down into the parking lot. If you're just joining us, this is. Lake Orion's Orion neighborhood television's coverage of Dragon Sports. Lake Orion Dragons taking on the Falcons of Groves in this varsity matchup. Dragons come into this match 6 2 and 1 on the season. Coming off a draw against uh, the rivals up north, the Oxford Wildcats, 0 0. Dragons have only allowed eight goals on the season. Groves trying to settle it down to get it out of their end. Very patient, this Falcon team. So far we haven't seen them press or push or you know, uh, force anything at all. They're playing their system. Header into the box to the net miner. That was a nice save there. Groves looking to move quickly. Oh, missed touch there. Kind of slows down the momentum. Groves recovers and kicks it out of play. And I believe is off green and white, so it'd be a throw in here for the Falcons. First half action, 0-0. Each team has one shot on goal. The Dragons have one corner kick. Ooh, tries to thread the needle. Still alive there, trying to go far post. Right foot. Again. Rose going down the middle and then dishing it off to the open man. A lot, a lot of freedom out there in the play. Slow down, yes. Foul call just out, outside the box. Dangerous spot for a foul. You can see Dragons are a little kind of shaking their heads going, uh-oh. So dangerous spot. The Dragons will be setting up the wall. The referee will tell them you must be so far away from the kick. And some directs traffic. Danger close here for Groves. Will they hit it directly on net, try to beat that wall? Will they? Let's see what happens. Chip on over and save by Warnett. That brings quality scoring chances for Groves up to four to only one for Lake Orion. So far, Groves nicely done, chipped on by uh, Vargas. Number 20 on out of play by number 12. 
Jakubowski. And I think uh, Green White has it thrown. Nice throwing down the line. Jacob Lee has it. Trying to find an open teammate. Centering nicely done. Jakubowski cycling around, looking for Lee. Coming back to 21, Vargas. Little three-man game here, doing a nice job, trying to chip it in the corner. Dragons don't cycle over. I think he was looking for Lee to come over to the corner. Giving away here, still deep in the end of the Falcons. Nice footwork by number 11, Jacob Lee, to keep that one alive. Dragons reset the offense, coming out to the midfield line. Chipping it in on the left side. Over the head of the defender, Dragons are there. Nicely done, one-on-one -on -one action here. Into the middle to Lee. Lee drops it off, another chop, chip into the box, looking for Jabowski. He sets it up, nicely done, just kind of hanging out there, trying to find someone to shoot. 23, Taplin trying to pull the trigger, can't do so, and the defense for the Falcons holds. Good defensive sequence for the Falcons. Nice patience for the Dragons. Uh, nobody wanted to pull the trigger and get a shot off. Coming up from behind, nice defensive pressure again by the team in white. Let's chip on over to number 10, Radias. Can't run it down. Jose Eduardo Barrios Aradias, senior midfielder. Call his name quite a bit today. Very active out there. Mateo King checks in for Groves. We didn't have the roster in front of us. We gave credit to that uh, defensive line, back line for Groves, who did a nice job in that last uh, that last series. Chip on, curve over. I think they're out of play, yep. Throw and coming here for Lake Orion. Mason Taplin. The junior forward with the honors here on the throw in. Time continues to roll here. Oh, easy call. Taplin call on the harm there. What is going on? Netminder coming out, uh, heading to the bench. Yellow card on the goalkeeper. They gave a yellow card. I guess there was some chatter after the uh, the foul happened. The whistle was the whistle was blown. I don't know what chatter needs to be said out there, um, but the playing for Groves number two, Henry Allen Bowman for the Dragons seventeen. Changes being made, so the goalkeeper for <laughs> Groves is taking a seat. And it looks like they are putting a new keeper in after the yellow card. That is an interesting little uh, development. Write that down. Because that could be a key, key development in this game. I mean, if that's your starting goalkeeper, I'm not sure what's going on. Okay. He got a yellow, but maybe he had to change some gloves. Maybe they gave the yellow to somebody else. I don't know. That was a weird sequence. We don't have the uh, referees biked up, so they can't explain to us what's going on. And But I, we did see a yellow card flashed. So we're back on. Groves goes right back at it, showing their speed. They do have speed on the edges and a um, little nutmeg action there. Didn't quite uh, get through there. Number 21, Vargas again dishes that ball deep. 12 in hot pursuit. That's Jakubowski. He's got some wheels, one to watch out for. Stefan uh, Jakubowski, this uh, 
Says he's a defender, but he's been on this offensive side a lot. I hope it's the right person I'm talking about. Number 11 again, Lee. Chip on. Behind the net. Right idea. Just got to get it on net. Something we haven't seen yet the Dragons do is really crash the net with some offensive players. It's been, they're, they're breaking up into uh, groups of three on the offensive side and getting their shape set up and then uh, making those pinpoint passes and then uh, deciding to chip on, but nobody was home at that point. Let's see how they handle, uh, they're getting uh, the ball deep in the Groves uh, end, but just not uh, getting it on frame. Groves with the throw in here. Trying to set them all up. Here we go. Almost went out of play. Saved by the Dragons, but sent in by Groves. Again, a little kickball action here. Back and forth. Good, Matt. Keep going, Matt. Offensive rush here by the Dragons. Two on two, but loses the handle. Jakubowski re gets possession again. But just a little uh, ske sketchy there, nicely done. Chip on by Lee, I think that was Lee, yes it was. Battle in the middle, one on three, whirling Dervish, arms up, watch out. Push from behind, in the box. That's coming as a PK. That is a penalty kick, come in on the push from behind. Dragons are smiling, yes, that is number 12. Stefan Jakubowski, that is an easy call for the ref. Falcons can't complain about that one. Came right up behind him, two hands on the back, and he goes down. Penalty kick here for the green and white. Who's taking it? Score. Jacob Lee. Here's the replay. Nicely done. Leans to his left. Nice. Uh, number 11, Lee. First goal of the night for Lake Orion or either team. So we saw two key fouls called. One in the Dragon end where a free kick was outside the box. Dragon set the wall and it was easily saved. And we had the reverse happen for Groves inside the box. PK, big difference. Huge difference. But uh, yeah, that was a un that was a uh, unforced error. We'll call it unforced error because it wasn't like they're battling for the ball and they tripped each other or whoever. You know, it was straight up easy call on the PK. Dumped them in the box right in front of the ref. Is this game going to get a little chippy here? We'll see. So far, it's been clean. There's always some banging going on out there. But so far, nothing. Out of the ordinary of any soccer match we've ever seen. We've seen other matches where it gets real chippy out there and dancing in the box. Two on five. And Warnett has to make the save. I am I'm really impressed with Grove's offensive attack. Their patience. And uh, they had four guys just outside the 18. Five guys outside the 18, it seemed. A lot of white jerseys outside the 18 on that last attack. It looked like two on five. Ball is sent out of play. 15.25 to go in the first two shots on goal, officially, by Groves. I like to tally the scoring chances as opposed to the official shots on net. Dance here, Jacob Lee trying to turn that baby around. Nice spacing by the Dragons. Good discipline not to dive in to help out their teammate. Good to stay back and wait for that ball. Ooh, unfortunate turnover there by the Dragons and Rose is on the move up that right side. Some speed. 
He played the ball, he played the ball. No call, the Gross fans want a foul in the box. Mark uh, Jokaj, I hope I say that right, on defense. Nicely done by number 19 to save a potential goal. Corner kick coming, first of the night. First of the night for the Falcons. See the flag in the corner there, just not hardly moving at all. Just You see the flag of the, uh, the linesman there, waving in the breeze, so it'll be in his face from that corner. See if that affects his, uh, his kick. So far, no, bends it in, near side post, alive out front. And a little volley action out front, but deflected out by the green and white. Another corner kick coming, this time from the left side. This time they can use the win to their advantage. See how they line this up, see what happens. 13.30 to go. Chops it in, nice going far post. A little long, trying to keep it in the box there. Jumping in a dancing, Lake Orion clears it out to midfield. And Groves sets up the offense again. That's all ball there, nice jump. Stefan Jakubowski, number 12, is having a game. Tough player out there for sure. Girls rolls it out, sets up that offense, trying to get their offense set up again. Dragons now putting some pressure on. Putting pressure on the ball, just making it a little more difficult for Groves to move freely. Side to side, guys are pushing. And some chatter going on. Ref White throws, gives a ball into the chest of the Dragons number eight. Janevsky gets, and again, you see this over and over again. The guy who does something last is the one who gets the card. I have to say that there was some elbows thrown. Yes, there should have been a foul, and the foul was on, looked like it was going to be on Lake Orion. Then they start chitter-chattering back and forth, and... Groves picks up the ball and shoves it in the chest of number eight, and you get yourself a yellow card. I think if he walked away, uh, we'd be free kick coming to the Falcons at this point. What did I just say not too long ago about this game being chippy? Thought it was pretty clear, uh, pretty clean. That one was a little, a little chippy. <laughs> you can see that this uh, game's, game means a lot to both squads here. I do believe this is a, oh, a white matchup, so divisional game here for both squads. Ball is out of play, throw in coming. Dragons putting a little more pressure on the ball carrier. Um, we didn't see that in the first third of the game, uh, this half. Splitting the defense. One on three, trying to cut it inside. Can't do it. Decides to kick it out. Corner kick coming for the Falcons. Again, that pressure of Groves. Really uh, splitting that defense quite easily. And coming into this matchup, we heard Coach Cortek for Lake Orion talking about uh, how impressed he is with the defensive uh, play of his squad. Again, only eight goals allowed, so low scoring uh, affairs for the Dragons. Long corner kick, header coming back on their side. Trying to get a double, no can do. Goal kick coming here for the green and white. Noah Wernett sporting the zero jersey. Senior net minder doing a great job for Lake Orion in this his senior campaign. So far, one corner kick for Lake Orion, three 
for Groves. Uh, a couple scoring chances for Lake Orion, but one was a penalty kick, so that's a almost counts as three because <laughs> it worked out. Uh, about five scoring chances for uh, Groves and two yellow cards. I think that was number 11. I thought there was a yellow card in the netminder, actually. You can't leave the, the net empty. And anyway, again, kind of a faster pace action going here. Good challenge by Lake Orion out of play. Throw in coming for the Falcons. Whistle blows. Got some substitutions coming in. So far, I don't. There haven't been a lot of substitutions for Lake Orion. That's kind of uh, Coach Cortez's M.O. Mason Taplin checks back in. Number 23, the junior forward. Nice long throw in. Dragons kind of turn on it. Groves gets it. On the far side, checking up that offense. Top pursuit is Diego Savoy. Number 20, what do we say that is out of play? Corner kick coming again for Groves. Again, corner kicks awarded to the aggressor. See it all the time. All levels of soccer. The team that is the aggressor out there is going to earn those corner kicks. Fourth of the night for Groves. One for Lake Orion. Yet the lead is still 1 0 Lake Orion on the pen penalty kick by Lee. Here we go. Low screamer. Bounces out front. Takes a weird carom. Comes out front. Groves chases it down. One thing we, we're seeing Groves, not a lot of careless turnovers. Good ball possession. Um, the ball tends to stay on their attacker's feet. They're not losing it ahead of themselves, right? So impressed with the ball handling skills of this Falcon squad. Another arm extended, no call. Play continues. That was number 20, Savoy for Lake Orion. Got to watch those. The, the referees are now looking after the, a couple yellow cards and some chip, uh, chippy play. Usually get you if you extend your arm, especially in the back of somebody. Tight quarters, passing, uh, tough sledding for Lake Orion. He's at the offense, 23 tapping. Looks downfield, sends it. Looking for Jakubowski. Streaking up that left side. He's got the wheels. And the one goal tonight. Long pass. It gets through. My goodness. Jakubowski. Oh, I thought he had it. Man, everybody's standing around watching the ball sail by thinking, oh, he'll get it. I'll let it go. Somebody else will grab it. Didn't happen. Just a bit off target for number 12 to roll in there for another shot. Dragon send it deep. Your coach Cortag on the sideline, barking out orders to his uh, troops. Nice move by 21. <laughs> Knee breaker, ankle breaker. Chopping it in box, trying to switch field. Set it up out front. A lot of space out there. Dragons trying to close. Nice move on the one more to beat. He gets decides not to shoot it. Dragons get a toe on it. I think if he uh, number three, I think it was, if he just pulled the trigger there, I think he would have had a had a chance. Just did a quick pop on that ball. One too many moves for the Falcons deep in Dragon territory. Dragons up 1 0 on the penalty kick by Lee. Two yellow cards issued to Groves so far in this match. Nice play. Nice one on one dribbling. Again, number three. 
Danger, Will Robinson. <laughs> that, that was a nice entry pass and a, a lob in. Aiming for number nine, he's got some height on the uh, on Wernett. He's got a couple inches on the goalkeeper for Lake Orion. And a very nice play. All set up by number three for the Falcons. One-on-one -on -one dribbling skills to get away from the defender. Groves, Netminer has to come out and send that in the stands because he saw number 12 streaking at him again. Didn't hear a whistle for substitutions. Looks like they're there may be. Number nine, uh, Eduardo Micheletti and Braden Hicks check in for Lake Orion. Number seven, I know Braden, my son played with him on the OSL squads. Very fast player, very talented, and has a cannon for a leg. Braden running that one down. He can get it to the middle of the net. Nice centering try. He's got a gun, even in the U Soccer Leagues. Uh, Braden could send that thing a country mile. Very fast, quick uh, first step. Glad to see he's still playing soccer. I know the football coaches are probably drooling over him, going, sure you don't want to put the pads on? Because as a running back, he's built like a running back, even a fullback even. Dragons up that left side. Nice stop, trying to centering pass. Does it get through? Does not. Rose again turns away the attack. So far the Dragons bend but don't break defenses, working. Uh, Groves has been the aggressor. And Adam Heron, number 18 for Lake Orion, checks into the match. And I was just mentioning the um, bend but don't break defense here on Lake Orion. So far it's been working. And Groves has been pushing and pressuring. Um, if you were just tuning in and watching and we had no score up, you'd think that uh, Groves was the lead. It was in the lead. They are not. Foul called. Groves gets it underway. Nearly loses out of bounds. Across that touch line, nice turn there. Gets a shot on, that was had some steam on it, but a good defense in there. Again, white jersey surrounded by green. One, two, three, four. Looks like six back for the Dragons on D. Chip on. Head down, what are they gonna say? Looks like it was on Groves. Defender tried to jump up and it looked like number nine there just walked out of the frame. Uh, grabbed the defender, held his arm. That stuff goes on. Dragon set it down and head on and here's Braden showing his speed. A lot of hustle in number seven. Nice ball on. Can they stop it? Yes, they do. Can they turn it? Just 125 left in the half. Nice turn by 21 from the Falcons. Still has it. Finding space, loses his balance, goes down. Attacking defender from behind. No call and dispossessed by the green and white. Nice defense. Eduardo Macchioletti trying to do something there for the Dragons, unable to do so. There's one minute remaining in the first half. Playing for Groves, number six, Leonardo Benavides. For the Dragons, number 13, Jackson Deer. Jackson Deer, number 13, checks in for the green and white. Like the announcer said, one minute left here in the first half. Dragons up one, nothing. Braden Hicks sends it out. Looks, moves in the open space. Goes down, retains possession. What a play there. It's collision, shoulder to shoulder, no call. 
Groves got the better of that matchup there. Back to the net minder, he puts it out in play. Time continues to roll. Rose does not want to give up a goal, or either Lake Orion either. Give up a goal here in the later stages. That's it for the first half. Dragons lead 1-0 on a penalty kick by Lee. Exciting matchup so far. We'll have the second half action right after this, after this brief timeout. You're watching on TV's coverage of Dragon Sports. Stay tuned. All right, about to get underway here in the second half. This matchup between Lake Orion and Birmingham Groves, the Falcons in town to take on your hometown Dragons. Uh, Dragons got on the board uh, by number 11, Jacob Lee on a penalty kick. And, but uh, I'd say Groves has held play in that first half. Um, Dragons defense had a little bend but don't break type of action to them. And Groves has uh, really uh, put the pressure on the defense here tonight. Thank you for tuning in this telecast. Owen TV's coverage of Dragon Sports. Always fun to bring you these games. I'm your announcer, Ian Locke. Sun has set. The lights are on. Crowd is really into this matchup. Great crowd from, uh, good traveling crowd from Groves up here for this matchup and uh, the hometown crowd is here. Stands are almost full. So it's a, it's a nice to see the fans out cheering on these student athletes as a throw in goes in. Dragons are attacking to the left and the ball's in the clear played by the netminder. Unfortunately, we don't have the rosters for uh, Groves, so we'll just call off numbers and do the best we can. Scramble for the ball, a lot of energy out of that halftime break. Streaking up that right side. Again, number 12, he is a pest. I love a pest on the soccer field. He is everywhere. Number 12, Stefan Jakubowski. He almost had a breakout at the back, or the later stages of that second half. Just couldn't get the ball on his toe. Good ball handling here by Groves. Here they come. There's openings. Shot on goal. Boy, that had some mustard on it. Right idea. Uh, Dragons again, just as a reminder, come into this uh, matchup 6 2 and 1, allowing only eight goals. So solid in defense, solid in the in net is uh, Noah Warnett, senior. Dragons are coming off a 0 0 tie on the road at uh, Oxford prior to this match. So far, weather is good. Some sprinkles are projected as Warnett is there to collect that one in. Two quality scoring chances tallied in this second half already for Groves. They are no let up in their game. Dragons need to watch out for that offense. It's They've been very, very active tonight. Dragon sent it in. He's trying to get something organized. Centering pass, trying to keep it in. Looks like it's across the end line. No, it's in the middle. 21, can he do it? Oh, who is that? Uh, Vargas just couldn't get uh, pace on that shot. And the Groves netminder was there. Just, he turned on it right. What is that, uh, Bar Ezekiel Vargas, number 21. He turned on it, had it settled. But uh, you didn't have a lot of time to think about it. Just shoot it, but the netminder was there. 
Third quality scoring, scoring chance for Lake Orion, but yet again, the score is 1-0. Dragons. Savoy chips it off, lets it go out. That would be a corner kick for Lake Orion at 35-50 left in this second half. Again, two yellow cards issued to Groves. Second corner kick of the night for Lake Orion. Dragons like to do this. Looks like they're going to do one of them short corners. Tells them no. It looks like they're going to go long. Just keeps the defense extended out of the box. We see the, uh, Cortec do this all the time. Let the guys decide based on the defensive setup. Next time we might see them do that and uh, just do the short corner as opposed to send it in the box. Dragon's still with it, sending the long ball in. Nobody home on the back door, or at least in the middle. Back door was occupied by a green jersey, but nobody in the middle there to close out that pass, that feed into the box. Lee trying to chase that one down. Dragon's trying to turn on again, that's Savoy. Putting pressure on, just not getting it on frame. Dragons had it towards the net, nicely done. And Lee, are they going to say offsides or heard a whistle? So I think it was offside. Falcons put it back in play. Nice steal there, or almost. A lot of pushing out there, a lot of stumbling, bumbling. The dragon throw in at Groves. Number nine, he's a, he's a scrappy player out there. Uh, tried to do the throw in thing, and hey, nobody saw him. Like, yeah, the whole stadium saw that it's a Lake Orion throw in. But you, you gotta love the moxie as the hands are coming up. Grabbing some jerseys, a little extracurricular after the ball is away. Something that's kind of hidden by our cameras, you don't really see that sort of thing. A lot of hand checking out there. Lee with the ball, trying to inside, chip in, doesn't get through it, does! Oh, nice slide tackle to clear that ball out of the, out of the 18. Good defensive stop at 33-09. One to remember moving forward in this match. Four shots on goal for Groves. Double that for their quality scoring chances and another throw in here for Lake Orion. Just trying to find some space to maneuver. Patricia, number 14, feeds it in, finds an opening. How did that get through? And offsides, yep, offsides on the, offsides on the dump in. Two offsides, what is that, three offsides calls on, called on Lake Orion. Bump from behind in the box again, you gotta call it, and they do. Do they call it? They do call it number nine again in the scruff out in the scrum out there. A lot of collisions. Dragons got a free kick. Give it up here in the in the end. A little too much mustard. Sends it in deep and over the crossbar. Goal kick coming. My goodness, that was an odd sequence there. You get the call for the push from behind. You set it up and you give it right to the white jersey. <laughs> Man, that was close. Groves is playing a physical style of play. Dragons are two for that matter. I mean, they're not shying away from this. They're standing tall. 
Bodies hitting the turf all over the place. Referee's going to start handing out yellows or warnings. You know it's coming. Because once it, it starts getting chippy and the whistle is not blown, then, then it just kind of escalates from there. But so far, it's a clean game. Substitution coming in here for Groves. Miller checks in for the Falcons. Free kick coming after the whistle. Drives it deep into the box, headed up by the Dragon defense. Trying to get it out. Groves can't turn on it. Dragons are content to send it out. Lee wisely does so. Groves moves quickly, gets it out in the box. Nice uh, sidestep there. Finds the open man on the left. Can't slow it down, so corner kick or uh, goal kick coming. Wrong strides by number four. You can't. Uh... Oh, it is a corner kick. That is the fifth corner for Groves tonight. Bending that baby in, header down, nicely done. Still alive in the box, Dragons clear. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of contact between the players in the box. This will be a throw in here for Rose. Still putting that pressure on. You see all the fans lining the, uh, the fence too. A lot of people on hand for this matchup. Near side going down the line. Savoy in pursuit. Lee trying to find the middle. Ooh, nicely done on the defensive side by the Falcons. Good anticipation by the team in white. Trying to turn referees in the way. Coming near side. Dragon still trying to put pressure on the ball handler. Nice move right to him. Ornette didn't even need to move. Dead center shot, nicely done. It's amazing how big that net is. And you kick it right to the one guy standing right in the middle. And number 12 called his number all night long. Feeds it up that right side. Dragons dispossessed. Like Orion's offensive possessions are have been um, don't seem to be as long as we saw in the first half. They're they're giving the ball away on I won't say unforced errors, but they're turning the ball over much more than they were in the first half. And Gross has taken advantage of it. They've been down here in the Dragon End for a good portion of this second half so far. Again, Dragons up 1-0 still on the penalty kick in the first half. Groves makes some substitutions. Two new players coming in. And number eight, Chad Cole. Nice job, nice steal there. Dragons trying to get on the move. Feed it outside, uh, Lee can't get there. Right idea, good two-man game, just a little soft in the pass. This is a new surface here at Lake Orion. Came in in the fall of 2020. New upgrades, new uh, sound system, fencing. It looks fantastic. Still rolling with it, can't keep it. Let's see what happens here. Knocked out by uh, Groves. Corner kick coming here for the green and white. But yeah, brand new facility, all redone, nicely done. Nets, some really nice netting behind the goals. So when you miss a goal, it doesn't go sailing into the swamp <laughs> or into the street. So well thought out plan here at uh, the soccer uh, stadium here at Dragon High School. Feeds it in, no harm, no foul on that one. Dragons trying to regather. It's 23, Taplin tries to send it in. 
Again, yeah, number 12 is there. Jakubowski just a little bit tardy. Gross, a lot of spacing, a lot, a lot of avenues to, uh, a lot of passing lanes out there for uh, the Falcons. Just as I say that, the Dragons close one down and they give it away. Goal kick, or uh, Netminder grabs it, going to send it down range, see what he does. Some of the other features we have here at the, the soccer field is uh, uh, internet and network connections. So ONTV and Dragon Broadcasting, the students' uh, broadcasting class at Lake Orion High School, um, can come out, plug a camera in into a port here at the soccer stadium and see the game uh, back in the high school's TV studio. And then we can live stream games, uh, playoff games, regular season games, you name it. And uh, it's a new feature here that we were hoping for for a long time, especially for ONTV and the broadcast side of things. It makes um, options open for uh, telecasting games uh, to the world, actually. So, yeah, well thought out, well planned, and an updated field. New pavement, no more cracked sidewalks. It's great. <laughs> Come on down, take a peek. All right, what do we have here? Throw in coming here for Lake Orion. Putting uh, the, the sprinkles are starting to come here in the second half. Light sprinkles. Gross. Dragons really have not had a significant uh, scoring chance in some time here. Groves' defense has, has, stand, has stood tall, and their offense has been very aggressive. Seven back on defense for the Dragons, coming near side, unattended. Is number 12, tries the center, can't do it. Who is that, 14? Got to give it up for uh, Zach uh, Patricia. Faithful so far. Happy with a one nothing lead so far. We'll see what happens. Grows in deep. Knuckles over. Tricky shot. You saw that change direction. Kicked it up. Knuckled over. And uh, but uh, Wernet was there. And somebody said happy birthday, goalie. So uh, Noah Wernet's birthday today. Happy birthday to the senior. So far, pitching a shutout. We'll see what happens. As we move forward here in this game, Dragons running it down. This number 19, uh, Mark uh, Gokaj. Hope I say that right. Play for Groves, number nine. Brett Russell for the Dragons, seven. Braden Hicks, 13. Jackson Deer. 17, Jose Three uh, new Dragons come into the game, Brandon Hicks, um, Jackson Deer, and Jose uh, Balina Loza. I'll check in for Lake Orion, some fresh legs here. Rose again stepping through, defense tries to slow him down, 21, Vargas called on the foul. Dangerous spot for a foul. We saw this in the first half. Um, Groves is slightly closer on the free kick. Dragons are not going to set up a wall. They're just going to play man up on the D. They are setting up a small wall. They got three, three guys setting it up. Looks like they weren't going to do one. See how it goes. If he can knuckle it around, House's bending skills always goes to the left side. Decides not to kick it right on net. Centering pass, deflected out. Oh, dangerous spot to bring it in. Wide open for 12. Oh, what a save. Good defensive head. Oh, look at the English on that ball. Brought it back in. That's 14, saving a goal. That's Zach Patricia. And after all that, we got a dragon throw in. My goodness. Ball out of play. Throw coming for the Falcons. Another substitution coming, or are they going to make him walk back to the spot where the ball actually went out of play? 
Falcons looking for, uh, where do I throw this? Dangerous, again, just outside the box. Dragons looking just to clear it. Looking to dribble it out. Nice ball work there by the Dragons. Trying to do something here, pressured. Five on two. Taking his time, resetting the offense. Looking for support and he finds it. Dragons switch the field. Ooh, good, good play there by the defender to gather that one in. Feet up that right side a little long. Can the Dragons run it down? No, he's out of the, bo out of the box. Uh, Netminder can't pick it up. Almost looked like he kicked it out of play. Looked like he's gonna pick it up, can't do that. Wild sequence there for Lake Orion. Picked out of play, throw in coming, that's 24 on defense Calvin Mays. Sophomore defender does the right thing. Settle for the throw in. Slow down that rush of the Falcons. Dragons still up one nothing on the penalty kick by Lee in the first half. Rolls through, they can't turn on it. Three jerseys around the ball every time. Again, here they come again, look at this. Defense, defense for Lake Orion has to be on point. Again, another giveaway. Dragons can't get an offensive rush going, can't uh, have, possessions are not long. Groves, nice, patient. Long possessions. Dragons content to kick it down uh, the other side of the field out of play. I don't think it was deflected, should be a Falcon throw in. Time continues to roll here in the second half. As, as the clock starts to wind down, uh, the team that is uh, down the goal will start to become more and more aggressive, and we've seen it already. Groves has been the aggressor and have carried uh, the play in this second half. Corner kicks, let's see where we're at here. Eight corner kicks, or uh, sc eight scoring chances, five corner kicks for Groves. Three corner or three corner kicks and three quality scoring chances for Lake Orion. Yet again, they have the lead, one nothing. Playing for the Dragons, number 12, Steven Jokowski. Steven Jakowski checks in again, number 12. He got a little breather uh, for the stretch run here in this second half. Um, you gotta watch out, three pulled him down. Yeah, it looked like a foul on 12, but the after whistle, the after whistle fun in games is uh, what you gotta watch out for. Looks like eight was slightly injured on the play. I don't know if he's popping out and they have a replacement coming in. That's the chippy we're talking about. Collision go down, see the hand come up, grab a jersey, throw somebody off of you. Clock is wound and running. Nice feed in. Centering pass doesn't quite make it there off the side of the net. Good idea though. Uh, nobody for the uh, Falcons at home in front of the net though. Goal kick coming. Burnett lines it up. Not sure what his range is. Uh, kicked it almost to midfield. Dragons turn on it, try to get an offensive set going, and they, they kick it deep, and it's uh, easily gathered in by, uh, by Groves. Offensive rush is nullified. Sometimes it feels like you're trying not to lose as opposed to trying to win. 
And uh, they'll settle on defense and go, hey, we have one goal. We'll win nothing, one nothing all day long. Still counts the same as if you won three to two or two nothing or whatever. And goal kick coming here for Lake Orion. Sends it downrange. Gets outside the circle. Chekobowski sends it in. They're content. It, it seems like they're happy just to send it long. Uh, let the uh, let Groves be the aggressor. They're they trust in their defense. You can see they're trusting in their defense. They're packing it in deep and uh, putting almost three people around the ball. If you're a ball carrier, ball handler, they're going to have three people around you. Uh oh. Yeah, comes back to haunt you. Penalty kick coming. 14 called on the harm on the trip. Zachary Patricia for Lake Orion called on the trip in the box. It's the call that it seems like the Falcons have been waiting for all night long. So a penalty kick coming. And they score. And the irony, penalty kick scored by number 11. Dragon scored by number 11. There's your replay. Dragon's defense. It, the law of average kind of take catches up to you after a while, don't you think? If you're content on uh, bending but not breaking, sometimes accidents happen, and kudos to Groves for taking advantage of that. They were in position and got hauled down in the box. PK, we now are tied at one. Ninth goal of the season allowed by Lake Orion. Now, how is this going, going game going to play out? Dragons weren't attacking on offense. They were settling to, on defense. Let's see what happens. You have an energized Groves team late in the second half. Dragons, though they held uh, the lead most of this time, do they, are, do they feel like they're on their heels? Because their offensive sets have not been uh, very productive at all. Oh, score! What a play. Right foot feed, far post. Trailer gets it. Oh, I think that's an own goal. 23. Mason Taplin for Lake Orion kicks his leg out behind him. That ball was going nowhere. If anything, it was sailing out of play. Taplin kicks his back leg up and knocks it in for Groves. What a turn of events in this second half. Man, I, I did, it, the crowd was so loud and trying to figure out what the heck just happened and I didn't hear who scored that goal but I think it was an own goal by 23 Taplin now the Dragons are in a hole what are they going to do they start getting that offensive uh, firepower together and get some energy going and get some sets up they settled most of this half to just there's nine again with the being very aggressive out there his second warning yeah, let them talk about it. Going far side, my goodness, what a. Now there's gonna be a lot of, he's holding them, he's gripping them, come on, there's a foul. They're calling it on the green and white, wow. That one I don't necessarily agree with. Uh, white had him pinned, you could see it. I guess it was shielded from the referee. But my word, what a change of events. Dragons up one nothing. most of this contest, saddling for defensive, you know, strength, not attacking. And uh, here we go, allowing two goals. Their 10th goal of the season. After all, all, uh, allowing only two, or excuse me, eight, coming into this matchup. Even coming off a, uh, a shutout, uh, tie, draw with uh, the Wildcats. And we know the Wildcats can put the ball in the net. 
Dragons just trying to find some sort of offense. Now they're scrambling to try to level this match. Boy, a white uh, match here. Rose Lake Orion trying to find something. Jakubowski trying to do something. We haven't seen a solid shot on net this second half for Lake Orion. Grows. Lake Orion gets called on the foul. Late call. What the heck happened there? I think Lake Orion was looking for the call and it came late. Finally came, 23. Taplin frustrated for sure. Long in the box, headed out. We're seeing the offense set up by these long chipping shots and then uh, just to run it down. They saying throw in here for Lake Orion. This game, has, this game has really turned sideways for the green and white in the last four minutes. Jackson Deer, number 13, checks in, and Mark Coletti, number nine, checks in for Lake Orion. Again, a giveaway in the uh, offensive side. Just. No organization here for the green and white here in the second half on the offensive side of the ball. Groves, on the other hand, has put that offensive pressure on. They were down 1-0 for most of this game, and all of a sudden a flurry here in the second half, starting with a penalty kick, and then an own goal <laughs> um, on a uh, back leg kick and the uh, in the box. Just got to be on, on point and be aware of things. It's They lose their focus. Groves ha, ha, has had the edge. No foul call. Play continues. You can hear um, the Groves faithful just begging for a whistle. They are amped up for sure after seeing their squad come back. Uh, to take a one goal lead here in the second half. <laughs> the other thing the Dragons have to start uh, paying attention to is the clock, right? Clock be starts becoming a problem. As it ticks lower, your opportunities start to diminish. Again, another giveaway here, Dragons cannot Keep possession for long offensive sets. Nice move inside again. Looking for another PK, not going to get it. I think they were equally pushing and, and shoving. They both go down. Again, wide open. Just over the crossbar. My goodness. Looking at the stat sheet here, besides the score, Rose has, has stuffed the stat sheet, as they say. I don't take many st stats during the game, but the ones they do, they fill them up pretty good. Dragons need to settle this down, get something organized. Jacob Lee trying to do something, another push from behind. It's Dragons just keeping their hands up. Rose goes down. I mean, these guys have been falling all over the place all night long. Free kick coming here for Groves. Groves is in a great position right now. Dragon's offense is really stagnated. Three jerseys around, three white jerseys around the ball. Groves is still attacking though. They're not settling and packing in the de uh, in on the defensive side. They are still attacking, running their offense. They're gonna take their time setting it up. Just keep a possession, don't give the ball away. And that's what they're going to do. They find an avenue, they're gonna take it. Not necessary to uh, put the pressure on like they did as that ball is sent down in the parking lot again. 
Good game plan by Groves. You're down a little bit, you have an edge. You gotta get back, you gotta claw back. Dragons played with a lead and maybe sat back on that lead a little. Their defense has been so solid all season long that maybe they thought, hey, one nothing, might as well be three nothing. Throw in here. Dragon Faithful trying to muster some sort of energy for this squad. They've been quiet. And Groves still trying to shoot it in there and steer it away. Trying to do something here. But Gross has the luxury of being patient. Set it up. Dragons are going to have to start challenging the ball handlers uh, to regain possession. There's another one and out of play. Nice job by the Groves defense to earn that one back. Boy trying to get it deflected out uh, by Janeski. Line throw, it just trying to do, uh, not playing fundamental offense here on Lake Orion, trying to do this little finesse stuff, you know. Blind pullback, roll, tap a -roo, you know, it's, it's, it's difficult to do in good circumstances, let alone a pressure situation of trailing 2-1 here late in the second. Dragons on the throw in. Can they do something with this? Again, two defenders on the ball. And another foul called on the green and white as it looked like they were about to set something up. It's always after the ball is away that the, uh, seems like the Extracurriculars are taking place. Grove sends it down range. Dragons are there. Can they set something up? Centering pass to no one. Who's on the right side? Can't get there in time. Dragons are content to just send it in. Um, Crowd still active here. A lot of energy on the uh, the visitors' side of the stands. Dragons kind of quiet. Still alive, but again, Dragons just trying to find something going. Here's something maybe taken down from behind. No whistle. Play continues. with it, Mays gets it through to 13. That is Deer trying to do something with it. Over to Lee, left foot centering pass to Lee. But again, you see three green jerseys. What are they gonna say? Don't argue, you're up two to one. It's gonna be a corner kick for Lake Warren. Rose going, huh? So <laughs> here it comes, 440 left. Nice punch out by the netminder. And it is inside four minutes left in this second half. Dangerous corner, but solid netminding by the uh, by Groves. The advantage of having a very tall uh, goalkeeper. Settle that ball down and get that offensive going. Offense going. Foul. Don't be demonstrative. Foul called. Dangerous spot for Lake Orion. The uh, Falcons are going to say a gift to the home team. Dangerous spot to have a free kick out here. Rose will set up a, a wall here. See what happens. Kick on, a little strong, free, nice, oh. Groves, that uh, goalkeeper had a hand on it. He was there first, so nice shot on net, but uh, right to uh, the Falcons goalkeeper. Dragons are 
Dragons on another run, trying to center this up. One too many passes. Can you pack in the box? 17 dishes it in. That is uh, Valia Loza. Dragons can't keep it in at 3.15 left. What do they say? This will be a goal kick. Nine shots on goal. You see the scoreboard. 3.10 to go. Visitors lead two to one. Nine shots on goal to four. Corner kicks. Not sure why the clock stopped. I guess inside a certain uh, time, they stopped the clock on substitutions, so you can't milk the clock out. Smart. Clock is rolling. Drops it in to Lee. Lee. Right to the, oh, misplayed, but no one to clean it up. Where is the backdoor help? What are they saying offside, so it didn't count anyway. <laughs> mm. They finally get a break. I'd like to back that up, see if that was, how close that was. Tough to see the angles, though, from our vantage point, but. Wow. Girls again content. Hey, they'll they'll do this all night long. They have that luxury right now. Throw ins will take her time. What are we gonna do? I'm not sure. <laughs> all along that clock keeps on ticking. Lee in a battle with three white jerseys. Out of play, Dragons with the throw in. Dragon Faithful, very quiet in the stands tonight. Are looking for support, trying to feed it through? Again, they're going for the long ball. Going with the hard pass. Long ball again, trying to run it down. Savoy trying to get a handle on it. Can he kick it? What happened? So he looked like he was dumped in the box. No call. Keeper gets his paws off the ball. That is a wild sequence. Dragons looking for another penalty kick. That was, that could have gone either way. I'm not sure on that, but hey, it is what it is. Dragons need to attack again if they want to get back in this game. Again, sending it long, running it down. It's 12. Jakubowski trying to center it. It gets through. Lee has it. Trying to settle it. Too tough. Referee looking at the extra curler, at the still in the 18 of the guys running into each other. Dragons just kind of wild on offense, dropping it over the top. And nice defensive play there. Clear, clear the zone. That's all they're looking to do. That'll be Lake Orion ball. 24 Mays with a throw in. Dragons are going to have to move quickly now. That's it. Six. That last flurry was it. What a comeback victory for the Falcons. Coming into Lake Orion High School in this divisional matchup and taking one from the home team here, winning two to one. I want to thank you for tuning into this telecast. I'm your announcer, Ian Locke. Stay tuned for more sports all season long. Good night, everybody.